everyone. Welcome to Asteroid Flyby. I'm in Southern Ohio. Just before sunset, it's about to change color. I want to show you what the sky looks like now. Look at this. Remember I said it when the object is there to look like a hand? Look at this. Look at that. We got that, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one. There's the moon. Look at this. Look right there. See that? Look at that. Look at that. Wow. This is unreal. Here, watch this. Look at that. See there? Look at this. Now, I just want to show you all what the east looks like. This is the east. So, here's the south. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's really going. Big debris field here. I mean, this is... Look at this one. That's a long debris field there. Look at that. Wait a minute. That... This object here, the debris field, goes all the way over to here. So that's a significantly another object there, large debris field. We ain't even looked at the west yet, so stay with me, folks. This is going to get really good. Stay with me. And uh, we'll continue the Never Planet X update. So stay with me. All right, folks, I'm back. Um, we're looking towards the west now. There's southwest. As you can tell, there's chemtrails out there. There was a bigger one in the north, but it's it faded, I guess. Junior, back, back up. And uh, a lot of this has disappeared because, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. How uh, the closer the sun set it gets, it, it's like the more transparent a lot of the system trails get. You know, the... the uh, the chemtrails, they'll stay. The regular clouds will stay. But the system trails, you know, the atmosphere that's mixing, will actually become transparent. But it'll come back after the sun goes down. The darker it gets, the more it'll show up. It's weird that way. And uh, so, I mean, we're close now, folks. I mean, we are close. So, y'all, we all need to start stocking up. Not just for that, but, you know, not just for the system. I mean, everything is on time, folks. It's all biblical. It really is. We got blue clouds out here, too. I mean, it's all biblical. Let's go look at the east. Stay with me. And, uh, well, anyway, it, it's biblical. I mean, we got wars and rumors of wars. You know, we got things going on and... Hezbollah. We got things going on in uh, uh, Hamas, Hamas, and then we've got uh, this is the east, believe it or not. You assume the red would be back over in the west, but anyway, folks, we got Iran that's ramping up in the house. Go. We don't say them words. We don't say that, dude. Go in, go in now. I'll deal with you when I get done. Well, sorry about that, folks. But anyway, we got Iran ramping up. Russia and China is Russia is uh, ramping it up. Russia is testing nuclear supersonic weapons, so it's about to go down, folks. And if the United States gets involved with this going on in uh, Israel, you know, then uh, Russia and China is getting involved. And now, uh, stop, I'm, stop, I'm recording. Just go sit down for now. Sorry, guys. But uh, anyway, Egypt is getting into it, too. They're testing their weapons as well. <clears throat> so, folks, this could very well be a World War III coming. I mean, we all knew this president was going to take us there. They all said that Trump would, but Trump didn't. You know, now they're saying that uh, everything is happening because of Trump's policies. But if that's the case, the first thing Biden did 
was undo everything Trump had done. They're even blaming the border on Trump, and it's not his fault. You know, I mean, I can remember Border Patrol getting emails stating to let all illegals go. Don't arrest any of them. Just let them go. So now they're saying that uh, he didn't say that, and I know dang well he did. Look, folks, those of you that's a Democrat, look, uh, I used to be for the Democrats, honestly, until this president. This president did it. I mean, that's it. You know, I mean, we all know he even said, if you get this, if you get it, uh, get the shot, you will not catch the virus. He said that. Then turn around and he's like, I did not say that. Yes, he did. You know, so he straight lies to all of us. So, and I'm sick of it. But anyway, enough of politics. I'll try not to get into politics, but it just makes me angry when people lie, you know, and then say they don't. They lie about lying. It makes me so angry. You know, I mean, if you're going to run a country, come on. Run the country good. Look at this. Look at that. Look right there. Look at that. That's chemtrail. There's the moon. Let's zoom in on the moon, see what we get. Not too shabby. Man, I got some docking appointments coming up. I got a uh, bone spar growing in hot wall. It's been there for quite some time and you know, I'm going to die from it. You know, it's going to kill me, but not yet. What? I didn't know you was coming. You heard what I said. No, I didn't. You said, what did you just say then? I said that. I said oh. Oh. Oh, I was saying to have a bone spur growing in the heart wall. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. You already know it though, don't you? No, a bone spur from my back growing into the heart wall. But, uh, um, it's, uh, actually it's in a place they can't do surgery. Well, they can, but surgery is very iffy. So I'm not going to have it done. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, I mean, let's go back to the West. There's the north. You know, folks, I mean, here's what I'm trying to say. If I let them do surgery, I may not wake up. You know, there's a good chance of it because of where it's at. But if I don't have it done, you know, I mean, I might live another 10 years. So I'll take my chances with the maybe 10 years. You know, so. Um... Dang, I lost train of thought. Uh, well, actually, it's hard to swallow knowing that, you know? But anyway, I have to go get that checked out. Look at that right there, look at that. I mean, did you see the color different in the east than it was in the west here? Well, there's the north. Let's lighten this up a little bit. There we go. You know, it finally changed color. Blue clouds here. We got a lot of cysts. Wait a minute. Look at the arch right there. It's going this way. Look at that. That is huge, folks. Look at that. That is monster huge. Anyway, folks, we need to get ready. I mean, rapture can happen at any time. World I mean, three. any time. Any day. World War III. Can I tell them something? No, Junior. No. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, we had wars and rumors of wars. I mean, it's going down. It really is. And it's... We got to prepare ourselves. Mentally. Physically. Spiritually. Emotionally. And, of course, we got to stock up with different, you know, medicines, foods... Clothing, you know, and 
Uh, according to the news, the jihads is, they said that uh, before they're done, Islam will be in every house in America. So, uh, I'm not changing my faith. Junior, dog bombs, dude. Look at that, man. I know that's an object right behind all that. Oh, yeah. that's Well, object is causing it right there. The object ain't right there, you know, but it's causing all of that. Look at that, man. That's awesome looking. Wow. Let me go on the road a little bit. Stay there, Junior. Back up, in fact. Look at that. That is awesome looking. Look at that. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, folks, we need to get ready. So, with that, I will say, if you don't have Jesus in your life, you might want to let him in. Look at the chemtrails. One there, one there. Papa, I know something right there. Swordfish. Hey. I heard you. Swordfish. And, uh, but, I mean, folks, you got, we got to let him in. It's time. It's past time, in fact. Because when this happens, and we're left behind, that's going to be it for us. I mean, really, that will be it. And we won't have another chance until Armageddon. So and then we have to put up with Mark of the Beast and everything. So, folks, we've got to get it in gear and get our hearts right. I mean, really, I worry about each and every one of you. Look at that right there. Standing here looking, I can see it, how it's going right there. Looks like tracers and then something's right there. Something is definitely right there. I'm standing here looking at it. Look at that. Look at the, how dark it is right there. Doing your back up. Come on, buddy. Thank you, dude. So, we just got to get our hearts right, folks. We have to get us right. I mean, it's... Things ain't going to change. It's only going to get worse. So we've got to get it. We've got to get ourselves right. So we really, really. Got to do the right thing. So put Jesus first, folks. Make him center your life. And if you think that you've done stuff where you cannot be forgiven, you're wrong. You can and will be forgiven. You just got to ask for forgiveness. And try your best to do what's right. And you will be saved. Of course, you got to know that Jesus is... A, you got to really believe that Jesus is the only begotten Son of God. And that He... Gave his life, died on the cross, rose from the dead on the third day. And, our, you know, our sin is covered by the stripe. Well, yeah, we're healed by the stripes that he bared and the blood that he shed. Our sins are forgiven, washed away. So, you know, you believe that and you are saved. Guarantee it. I can promise you that. So, all right, folks, I do want to thank you for watching Asteroid Flyby. Again, I'm in Southern Ohio. And I just want to say God bless you, everybody, and stay safe, stay vigilant, and get yourselves right, get your heart right. The hardest thing to do is getting your mind right. You know, get your mind right, your heart will follow, I guarantee it. So look at all that. Look at that. That don't look right at all. 
I mean, really, it doesn't. It just does not look right. I mean, we got everything going on in the Middle East and in Russia. We got this Nebiru Planet X. And there's a lot going on right now. And now's the time, if ever at all, for even me to get on our faces and, you know, ask God forgive us. Except Jesus. It, it's time, folks. So, well, we know what we got to do, so it's free. Don't cost nothing. Things get harder because we're doing what's right now. So, and that's all. Gets easier, though, after a while. So, and if you mess up, you're human. You're going to. Ask for forgiveness and go on about your day. So, all right, folks. I love you all. Again, thank you for watching Asteroid Flyby. Stay safe, stay vigilant, everyone. God bless you, everybody.